is because you can actually get at that bolt. Ooh. We're looking at exhaust before we start today. So welcome to another Dino Days video. This one's in for valve clearances, an Uncle Keith's rocker cover, a HEL braided clutch bypass line, and a map. Jenna's explained to me this is a double fist. A double fister. A double it's a big one, ain't it? It's a double fist. Well, let's see what it sounds like on the dyno a bit later on. Well, the car is on the dyno. As you can see, it's had an Uncle Keith's rocker cover. That looks lovely. Now it's time to do a stock power run, see where we're at. We'll talk about the mods towards the end of the video, but stock power run, and then we're gonna flash the stock ECU with Ecotech software, allowing us to data log and map and all the goodness. So let's see what she makes right now. Well, a black FN2 in the house today for a little bit of work and then a map. So what did we do first thing this morning? Uh, Joe fitted a rock cover. Not that that makes any difference to power, but fitted the rock cover. Did check valve clearances. Um, HL bypass. Oh, the HL well. bypass line. And then we bled that up, which was lovely. The fluid in that sort of looked very sort of rusty. It looks a bit like rusty water, really, That's to be honest. some new fluid, isn't it? Uh, some new fluid in there, sorted all that out. Uh, and then onto the dyno. Now, onto the, now, whilst it was on the ramp this morning, 
you um, you were inspecting the exhaust. Yeah, I mean, I always, I mean, you know me, what I hate, I love the word custom, I love custom, but nine out of 10 times when the word custom gets thrown around, it always ends up being worse than something that you could buy off the shelf or whatever. Now, I'm not saying it's worse, the work looks great. Um, the manifold's been modified. Um, so to, Piper manifold. Piper manifold, and then modified to make a three inch collector, which looks great. Three inch exhaust, great all the way down the car. It's where a it's good sort, bore size. Yeah, a good bore size. Where it sort of falls apart for me is, again, there's a difference between what, for example, the customer wants and what is best for power. So the customer wanted a, a true three-inch twin exit, which I believe he sort of got to a point. Um, it was but, too loud for him. Yeah, it's too, too loud, loud for him. Boxes, so added boxes, which don't really cause a major problem with flow. flow. Uh, but basically what they've done, they've run the, it comes up and around over the exhaust and come, uh, over the rear axle and comes up and then comes down into, a, obviously they have to make a T-piece at some point because obviously they want to run it as a twin exit. Yeah. So they've made that T-piece. And obviously it's a three inch bit of pipe between the two boxes, which then the other pipes sitting on top of it. At so an angle. A, a slight angle. So a slight angle is sort of like, if that's flat, it's sitting slightly 45 that way. 45 degrees. Yeah, 45 degrees to it. And obviously two things are going to happen there. One, all the exhaust gas got to hit the bottom of the pipe and then spread out, which obviously creates a restriction. You have a bottleneck in that area. And secondly, because it's already flowing that way and going that side, you get most of the exhaust come out on the left hand on the left hand <coughs> side. On so the this near is side. what you've just seen on the the video from the back of the car where we've got flames. Yeah. So you see that one tailpipe's lit up with a flame coming out of it and the other one really hasn't. Yeah, because the way it's flowing, it's going and using that one side. So the other box has no purpose. All it's doing is scavenging air from that, that side at that point because it's not it's not doing anything. There's nothing coming out of it um, or not next to nothing coming out of it. Um, and obviously, it's just creating a restriction there. So whilst this car didn't make any peak power, I believe that's basically down to the exhaust. A three-inch a three inch, a manifold with a three-inch collector and a three-inch exhaust should do really well. Now, it has got a HKS induction kit. Yeah, but I don't think that would hold I don't think that would hold it back. On these, they seem to, it's the exhaust because of the way the exhaust design is. It's sort of like gained what you would normally get, say, from a two-and-a-half-inch system, so like a jack speed system or something mm. like that, and it's sort of given that sort of effect, but it's all three-inch, apart from, obviously, where you've got that bottleneck. So on this particular car, if you were spending money next, would you modify that exhaust, or would you go for a CPL induction kit and an RRC inlet manifold? I would modify the exhaust. I think you'd do all that work up front, and that exhaust would still hold you back. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think what I would be tempted to do is, where it comes up and over the axle is fine, but get rid of that side if you yeah. get what i mean completely lose that or if he wants to keep it as a look just have it as a dummy so it does nothing and then obviously the second well, it's technically doing nothing now so well, that it, shouldn't really matter. it shouldn't really affect it but obviously just rework the pipe work in there so instead of obviously going into the top of a t-piece that you just make that a sweeping three inch bend and go out through the back and if you bring the other one round and you and you just weld it to the side of the pipe because mm. it's obviously blanked well then do that you know what i mean it, it, it would give you the same look but then you would have that three inch exhaust which would obviously you would, yeah. you would have the flow from now, it. this is loud it's still loud. Yeah, to be fair though, it has got like six inch cannons on the back of it, ain't it? Or two of. Yeah. So it's it was unlikely to be quiet, was it? It is loud. I don't think mm. it's trap friendly. I don't no. I don't think it's trap friendly by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, but we made power in the mid range as we are expecting to do. And uh, we made power in the in, you know, we made power from the get go pretty much, just until we got to peak and then the, and then we're not made nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well that's like I say we're hitting a restriction, yeah. so yeah. That's where we are. Look at the graph. Let's have a look at the graph. It's Monday. It's Monday, yeah. Sorry, I'm yawning. Yeah, it's Monday. We've already done we've already done some servicing on some FN2s today. And... Yeah, and Cookie's been down the paint shop. He's been putting some epoxy primer on the bottom of the EK, which is... Uh, Coming along it's nicely. Not, it's not interesting for some people, maybe, but it's interesting hey, for I'm me. I'm interested, and I'll is watch it, this back later, so yeah, I'll still find it interesting. It's, it's, inter it's interesting for me. Uh, I feel like, at least now, we've got the floors clean there's no rust on it we've got some epoxy primer on there you know next step started to get some uh, get some seam sealer on there and you know things like that so nice moving forward we're getting some video footage so there'll you be picked a, a colour that we won't announce yeah we sort of picked the colour uh, which is you know which has been a, a ball like over the last few weeks trying to figure out what we wanted to do but yeah we sort of picked a colour so that's sort of set in stone now um yeah, hopefully we'll start. It'll start moving fast now, and we'll. Uh, <laughs> in the comments below, progress. what is your favourite colour? Yeah, what is your favourite colour? <laughs> what is your favourite colour? Uh, Brilliant. Let's look at this graph. Let's, have a look. Let's do it. 
So as we always say, red line is how she came in, blue line is how she leaves. Power in the mid-range there, as expected. Wheel horsepower made, obviously you understand correction figures now, so we made wheel horsepower. And we finish on 220. So peak power, no. Wheel horsepower, yes. A bit of torque. And she's got some flames so thanks for sticking around to the end of the video guys like and subscribe and all that jazz i can hear milo the dino dog going nuts in the office which means it must be time to take him for a walk if anybody wants to send any treats to the dino days uh building or the unit you can send some dog treats and that'll keep milo quiet uh but thanks very much and we'll see you on the next one Fast.